Who am I? What is my purpose? Why do I exist? These are questions that I've yet to answer successfully. Some would say that these are the questions of a person who is lost, a person who does not know who they are, a person who is struggling with their own identity, a person in the midst of a so-called identity crisis. And that is me, unsure of my place in the world, unsure of how to find my one true self. When I was a boy, people taught me that I am my job. I am an engineer, I'm a doctor, I'm a priest, I'm a financial planner. But are these really one's identity? If I am a chef, I spend my waking hours preparing food for other people. I don't do it for fun, I do it to get money. That is not my identity. That is a role that I am playing. If I am a lawyer, I receive money to help people navigate through the jungle that is our legal system. But that is not my true self. A CEO of a large company may earn a lot of money, and may even receive a lot of praise in the latest business journals, but is he any closer to finding his identity than the man who sweeps his floors? Others mistakenly seek status and wealth to define themselves. A new luxury car, a giant house, a tennis court, playing golf on the most expensive courses, expensive clothes and an overpriced handbag. Television would have us believe that these things define us. They mould our identity. But they are just material possessions. They do not define oneself. They are at best illusory. With time, the latest handbag becomes old and unfashionable. The expensive clothes become dated. The luxury car needs replacing as there is a newer model. These material objects are temporal. They are but an illusion of one's self. So if identity is not my job, and it's not my possessions, then what is it? Perhaps it is one's actions. When I am with my friends, I tend to be the larrikin, the joker, the court jester. I am there to amuse my friends. But this is not me. When I am at home, I tend to be more neurotic. I worry. I am moody. I envy my colleagues and peers and wish that I too could afford the new house with the two bathrooms and double garage. However, when I am at work, I am confident and empathetic. I help students through their own worries and concerns. I show kindness and compassion. When I am in public, I am a stoic warrior. I help those in need without a moment's thought. I will run into battle to save a damsel in distress. I will play the role of the hero. But if I am asked to speak in front of a crowd, I am a trembling coward. I show no such heroism. I am lost for words in front of an audience. My mind goes blank. When I am by myself walking in the park, I stare off into the distance. A feeling of calm washes over me. I am free of worry. I have time to ponder these wandering thoughts that emerge in my mind. I ask these big questions, but the answers seem ever so elusive. I am a truth seeker that never arrives at his destination. So who am I? Am I a joker? Am I a cynic? Am I a pessimist? Am I a philanthropist? Am I a brave warrior or a trembling coward? Am I calm and rational or nervous and confused? Or am I a mix of all of these things? Which one is my real self? Who am I? With regard to identity, we are taught from a young age to lie and deceive. Put on a brave face. Boys shouldn't cry. Go to university, not because you want to, but because it's the expected thing to do. We are constantly taught to put on a mask to suit the people around us. And that's exactly what I do. I am a living contradiction. I no longer know who I am. I am an actor in a play, adapting my character to suit the given role. I am a fiction. In the past, when I have applied for new jobs, they would invariably ask, which three words best describe you? I usually would reply that I am conscientious, passionate, and diligent. But these are not me. These are but words that I have been taught to regurgitate to potential employers. I am telling them what they want to hear. If I was being honest, I would probably tell them that I am an anxious, confused clown. But that wouldn't get me the job, would it? So back to the original question. Who am I? If you've come here looking for answers, I'm afraid I have none. I do not know who I am. 
I do not know why I am here. I'm trapped in a world of changing roles. I'm the Joker. I'm the warrior. I'm the grey man crossing the street. I don't have an identity that sits well with me. And this is probably true of most people. And just like every other man, I'm full of doubt and uncertainty. If I had to give three words again that describes my identity, I would say, I am human. A bumbling, stumbling, faltering human.